All right, everybody, welcome back to another Dead by Daylight video. So today I'm going to talk about the new game mode. I made a video a few days ago going over my initial impressions when they showed it off and how I thought it was going to be fun and I liked the direction it was going. I played it all night on stream. Uh, by the way, you should check that out. The link's below. We stream three days a week. It's great. Mostly killer. But uh, we, we play Survivor from time to time. Anyways... I like the idea of this mode. That's what I'm going to say up front. I like not having a HUD. I like not ha seeing bars. I like that basically there's no aura reading. Um, and I like not having perks or builds. Uh, I'm actually going to work on a video about a new game mode I kind of want to be permanent in this game that I think would be amazingly fun and kind of add uh, a different kind of aspect to the game, maybe. But regardless, I like the general idea. Uh, and I did play Survivor and Killer, so I do have perspective on both sides. Now, the things I didn't like. Um, and if Behavior is watching this, and I don't think they ever will, but if they are, I just, just some notes I have. Uh, tracking, I understand the whole point is for it to be difficult. And that's fine. I don't mind not being able to find Survivors. However, because there is still blood on the ground, the survivors I do find tend to be the ones I have already hooked. Which means a lot of the time I was tunneling and I wasn't even trying to. Now anyone who knows me and, and has come to my streams or whatever knows I usually don't tunnel or camp. I try to go out of my way not to do those things. However, this game mode made it very difficult. Not just because the blood was basically the only way to really track people, same with Grunts of Pain, which would be on the injured person that I just hooked. But, let's say I can't find anybody. I'm looking around and I can't find anybody. I see the unhook notification go off, so I walk back to hook. Well, the unhooker, I can't see them. There's no scratch marks, there's no blood because they're not injured. So the only option I have is to follow the blood towards the person that just got unhooked, right? Oh, you could just leave them alone. I could, but it's not one of those situations where it's like, I'm taking the easier option. I'm literally taking the only option I have. And I think that's the bigger issue I have with this. And that's why I think a lot of killers are tunneling. I think a lot of us aren't even doing it on purpose. Not to say none of them are, but yeah. Uh, on top of that, I think the game mode is too short. Uh, a lot of this game mode comes down to map knowledge. While the not being able to see stuff is great for the killer and survivor chase aspect of it, as far as like tiles and generators and stuff go, once you learn the maps, because there's only like four or five in the pool, uh, even though they're random, you kind of get a general sense of an idea. And if you already know how to run the maps, it's not that much different. Uh, I don't really know how you would change that other than adding more maps to the pool. Uh, and I also feel like the chest should have an aura reading within a certain degree for the survivors. Um, I really do, because a lot of times I was like, you know what, I'll grab a chest real quick, and I couldn't. Uh, and I think that the contributing factor also towards the idea of the matches being too short was just that. Like, the survivors really have no incentive to go for the chest other than why not. Uh, so they're just going to do the gens just like they always do, and the killers are just going to kill like they always do. Which I think is fine, but with how hectic this game mode can get from both sides because of the lack of vision and whatnot, I do think it can snowball out of control very fast. And a lot of times, uh, the game would be over in like less than five, six, five minutes because the killer either snowballed super hard or the survivors all hopped on gens and the killer couldn't find anybody. Uh, my suggestion for that is adding maybe another gen and another hook state for every survivor. Maybe that might help. I don't know. Just for this game mode, obviously. But once again, I like the idea, and I'm glad to see that they did something with it. Uh, I was a little disappointed with the tome challenges, too, because I thought you had to do them during the event, and you don't, which is very strange. Uh, the rewards are fine, I guess, but yeah. Like, I'm not, like, I don't hate the game mode. Um, I just don't see myself playing it much outside of this initial day of testing. Um... Side note from the killer side, for those of you who do want to play this game mode, Ghostface and Myers are busted. <laughs> they are so busted in this mode. I was getting stocks on people I didn't even see. There was a lot of times when I was, I was playing Ghostface, and I swear 
I was stalking people, and I didn't even realize I was stalking them. I walked up to a Claudette once, and she was 99, and I was like, when, when did that happen? Apparently, I, I was holding my stock button randomly, and I just happened to be doing it. So that was great. Um, and Myers, the reason why I think he's so strong is his uh, exposed status effect. Uh, you, like, you'll see it pop off, but, like, you don't really know if it was on you or somebody else because you can't, you know, see him most of the time. And he can also stalk outside of that range, which is just, yeah. Uh, Dredge seems a little too good in this mode as well because he can kind of bypass the uh, the whole fog thing by holding his power down. And Nightfall kind of makes it rough for the survivors as well. Uh, Freddy is disabled, and I think the reason for that, I would love confirmation on this, is because of his filter. I think it would mess with the current filter they have in. Uh, that would be my assumption. It's a little disappointing to all three of the Freddy mains, but yeah, it, it is what it is. I'm sure they have their valid reasons for that. But yeah, once again, like, uh, cool idea. Um, I would love to see it re -er iterated on it in some point. And I think I understand now why the game mode is only going to last a week. This is just testing grounds, right? They're just testing the water, see what happens. I do like that it's an option, and I did notice that the survivor uh, blood point pool went up to 150% while I was playing, which either means survivors aren't playing it very much, or they really, really, really want people to play it. I don't know which it is, and I don't know which is worse. In any case, uh, tell me what you guys thought of the new game mode. As always, I'd love to hear from y'all, and I apologize if my voice sounds a little scraggly. Uh, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. But links below, like and sub and all that stuff, the Twitch is there. Don't forget we did the the artist killer interview main silver, uh, podcast series yesterday. Uh, Carnivorous came on. She was wonderful and great. Uh, you should check that out as well as the other episodes of that, which will be in the playlist for that. Uh, in any case, I'll see you all in the next one. And uh, bye.